So multi-step equations are basically just like they sound. So, you know, you're getting pretty good at algebra, and maybe you can do something like this. 3x equals 6. This is a one-step equation, right? Obviously, the only thing you have to do here is, hey, I need to get x alone. This is 3 times x. What's, x, what's the opposite of times? Divide. So you do divided by 3. Divided by 3. x would be 2. So you're good at these. You're getting pretty solid. The difference is multi-step equations just has one or two more steps. And so they're pretty basic. They're not stressful. Don't worry. It'd be something like this. 3x minus 4 equals 8. So what's weird is if you got good at one step, you'd say, well, I want x alone, right? It looks like this 3 is in my way. I got to do something. Ryan told me if it's 3 times x, you divide. I also see that I have this like minus 4 in the way. I know that to get the 4 to the opposite side, you do the opposite. So if it's minus 4, you would add 4 to both sides. But the problem is, what do I do first? And it's kind of weird. It's kind of the opposite of PEMDAS. So if you remember PEMDAS, which is parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, add, subtract. Algebra is you're actually undoing the problem. So you do the opposite. So you can scratch what I just said if you want. Basically, do this last. So we got to get this drama out of here first. And again, here's your like border. If I want to get this minus 4 to the other side, I have to add 4 to both sides. And when I keep saying both sides, I mean both sides of that dotted line, that border, that equal sign. So in this case, I have, okay, so those are gone, which was the point. So now I have 3x equals 8 plus 4 is 12. Oh, now look at this. Now the final step here is, well, how do I get x alone? I have 3 times x. I'm going to do the opposite of times, divide. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 4. So that's a multi-step equation problem. I'll give you a couple more little samples, a couple more little free samples. Feeling generous? So here's another one, same exact thing. So you have... 4x plus 5 equals 17. Again, do the 4x last. Do that last. Let's get this 5 out of here first. Minus 5, minus 5 to both sides. 4x equals 12. And now, again, I'm kind of like close to getting x alone. Opposite of 4 times x is divide. Oh, okay. x equals 3. Okay. I'll do one more weird one. I mean, these aren't weird, so they're pretty easy. So, I'll try to come up with kind of like one that might be a curveball on a quiz, and it'll be something like this. So let's say you add x over 3 uh, plus 1 equals 6, okay? Again, the stuff attached to the x I'm going to do last. So the first thing I have to do is get rid of this annoying 1. The opposite of plus 1 would be minus 1 to both sides of the equation. Then you have x over 3 equals 5. Now this is pretty trippy. Of course, not if you saw my last vid. It wouldn't be trippy because you'd know what to do. This is x divided by 3. What's the opposite of division? It's actually multiplication. So you actually multiply both sides times 3. Gone. So then x equals 5 times 3 is 15. So that's it. That's multi-step equations. They're pretty straightforward. Um, super similar to one-step equations, but a little more drama. And that's it. Remember, if you're having a hard time uh, at your local high school with your math class, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School. Pass it there and the credits will be transferred back to your school.